Depression is a severe disease. It's a severe problem in our society. And uh, one of the main reasons is because we are so oppressed. We are oppressed by other people, by society conditioning, by our own family members, by our friends. We can't be ourselves because if you are yourself, then you become a danger to your family. They say you're weird, you're strange, um, and you become an outcast. Depression is very severe in the um, young people uh, community, you know, the teenagers, kids in high school, middle school, started sometimes at an, in, in elementary school. They are so oppressed by the stupid thinking, stinking thinking by their own parents, you know, so oppressed by what people expect from you, by what people want you to do, so oppressed by the different reasons that people give you for you to behave. And when, I, when, when you think about it, it's really not even worth it because all that conditioning it's just creating more diseases, more stress for young and old. So there are a few ways that I get away from depression. The first one is to make sure that I eat. You cannot wake up in the morning and don't eat. You cannot wake up in the morning and walk around the house without eating something. You got to find something to eat. You got to know when you wake up in the morning, you're going to eat and you're going to drink something so you can start getting some energy by eating, by taking your vitamins. Um, second thing, you need to turn on the lights. Make sure you're in bright areas. When you wake up, don't, don't, don't walk around in your, the clothes that you slept in. Make sure you change your clothes, take a shower. Change your clothes. Um, turn on the lights. And if you're in the house by yourself or there's not enough noise, turn on the radio or put some music on on your cell phone. You know, um, listen to something motivational. Listen to the Bible. Listen to somebody singing. Listen to something you like. And do not refuse, do not allow people and refuse to let people set your own atmosphere for you. And don't let the atmosphere set itself for you either. That means you must turn on the light, you must play music, you must eat something, and if you look good, you will feel good. You know, put some nice clothes on, take a shower, put some nice clothes on. No matter. It doesn't matter where you were going. Whether you were going to stay at the house, put the nice, nice clothes on you. Whether you were going to go somewhere, go to work, you know, and yes, you work somewhere that you don't need to wear nice clothes. Put the best clothes, look good and smell good, and you'll feel good. Sometimes I wear suit. I wear my tie. I wear my nice shirt and tie. And, you know, I, I, because I know if I feel good, I go to work with it. And people will ask you, oh, where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm coming to work and I want to look good. Because if you allow stupid people to... Um, uh, control you, you will become depressed. Of course, there are other, um, uh, you know, bigger problems and things like that, that people need some medications. But the very first thing is for you to, to um, uh, set yourself free from stupid people, from stupid thinking, stinking thinking. Get away from people that don't understand. Get away from people that put you down. Um, of course, there's another matter, you know, like taking your vitamins. And I, I have a video on that. Take your vitamin B complex, you know, eat, you know, um, um, whole food, protein, um, take your enzymes, you know, certain things like that, which I have multiple videos about that already. I want you, you can check them out, but don't stay depressed. And if you feel depressed after all these things that I've said, then you need to, of course, contact your doctor and you also want to have people around you, you know, friends, not any friends now, because some friends are worse than enemies. But you want people that makes you happy. You want people that want to laugh, that want to joke with you, that want to talk to you. You know, and if you're lonely, if you're alone, you know, get yourself not only your friend, but maybe a boyfriend or a girlfriend. 
you know, get you something happy. And if you know relationship that you are not happy, get, get away from it. Get out of it. Don't let people tell you, well, I, can't, I cannot stay here. I can't get a divorce. I, I can't get remarried. Forget them. It's not up to them to tell you how you live. Live your life because at the end, you will. You will be the one giving answers. You will be the one that, you know, end up killing yourself if you allow people to suppress and to, 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 to oppress you. And then you become depressed because of stupid people in your life. Don't stay around people that don't make you happy. Don't stay around people that make you upset. Don't stay in a job that's, you know, making you angry, that's stressing you out. Although, yes, sometimes you do have to put food on the table if you have a family like me. But I don't let jobs stress me out. If I have to go get another job or, or, or go sell something at the flea market, so be it. But I will not be stressed and I will not let people control my life. And I will not let people... Um, uh, depress me. This is Coach David Halal, fearlessly and passionately pursuing his goal and his destiny. Don't forget to subscribe, um, like my videos, keep it 100, and I'm here to teach you from A to Z how to have a better and successful life and relationship. You have a good day. Bye-bye. See you later.